guys. So, first of all, before I start complaining, I just have to say, I, I got my hair cut today and I actually meant to say in my last video that I was going to do this and um, gauge your response but I forgot so um, it's like, can you see it? It's like shaved here. I think it's like, I just keep on doing this to myself now. Um, <laughs> Anyway, um, so recently I've been parking on the street um, and not in my driveway um, because the, there is another car in my driveway. So, unregistered car, so my car's registered obviously, so mine's on the street now, while the unregistered car is in my driveway. And I've been parking on the street and that's been fine, but um, because my car is a soft top, I don't want to park like too far away. Like it's got an alarm and everything, but um, like, you know, like there's a park close by my house and stuff. So I don't really want to park like next to the park, for example, that's just like asking for shit to happen. Um, so what I've been doing when um, fuckery allows is um, parking over my driveway because usually well before my house was um, blessed with a driveway the strip of parking spaces outside my house there was room for three cars but then my driveway got put in the middle so that killed parking space on the street and now there's just like the driveway and a room for a car on either side um so you know that's fine like parking in my area is really tight so personally um i think that like majority of the people in my street that have driveways have got two cars but only one of them can fit in the driveway so really like i think that if you have a driveway that you can park over, like that's a, that's like dead space that nobody else can. Ugh. Um, that was a pothole. Um, so maybe if they use some of that clearway money and fix the roads, what do you reckon? Um, anyway, um, I've just totally lost my train of thought. Yes, so lost it completely. One second. Um, yes. So, what I think is that people who have a driveway, especially the ones that have, like, two cars, um, that's, like, dead space that only they can use because, like, you can't get fined for parking over your own driveway, whereas everyone else can. So you should park your second car over your driveway because like parking is limited as it is um come on fuck face it's not gonna get any greener my fucking horn is far too um it's not sensitive anyway so yes so i've been doing that and some of my neighbors have um, been good about it but I found it was actually the ones least likely to be good about it that have been good about it for example the ones that live next door that I have been at war with for the last four years have been quite receptive and um, have parked you know as far back and as far forward on either side of the driveway to allow space for me to fit in the middle um because there's space there obviously like i said it used to be three spaces there's space there but because people are used to it only being two spaces and because people park over my driveway because they're fucking shit at parking at the best of times um you know so people aren't 
used to it being three spaces. So fair enough. And, you know, after I'd done it the first couple of times, I found that, like, yeah, that happened. And, like, the neighbours next door, like, they realised what I was doing and obviously saw the benefit because it's one extra car space that they're gaining because I'm not taking up a car space on the street. The other car is off the street and I'm not taking its place. So they've gained a, they're gaining a space, basically, if they don't park like fuckheads and leave space for me to fit over the driveway, then basically my block is gaining a space, which is a fucking precious commodity. It sounds fucking stupid and like nothing, but like, yeah, the parking situation in my street is ridiculous. Um, so, yes, in, uh, you know, for people who live in the suburbs, um, it's like, this sounds fucking stupid, but yeah, it's, yeah. One of the downfalls of inner city living, shall we say. Um, yes, so, but what I've found is the neighbours who I thought were okay have actually decided to play fucksies with me. And um, today is the second occasion that they've done it to me. So um, noticeably, like previous times, it's just been like, oh fuck, like I can't fit in there because they're parked just slightly too far forward. And it's just been slight, so it's like, oh, well obviously they fucking missed the memo and they're being a bit fucking retarded. But I didn't think anything of it until today and a few days ago when unfortunately they were the one who got one of the spots on either side of my driveway and they parked like pretty much halfway across my driveway so technically taking up two spaces like they're not properly in either space just to really be sure that there was no possible way that I could fit over the driveway today they have literally parked halfway across my driveway so I figure since they want to play fucksies with me then just like how my neighbours next door have learnt not to play fucksies with me over the last four years the neighbours across the road will now have to learn to not play fucksies with me because I'm going to have to fucking call the council and get a ticket pull in their car because they parked over my driveway. And then we'll see if they fucking lo learn how to park next time. So, I'll keep you posted. Moral of the story for this one. I have a very clear moral to this story. Don't fuck with me. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. I think that that's that. So, anyway, um, thanks for watching, guys. See you.